Well, some might call it mobile get-in. Google is changing its search algorithms to consider whether or not a company is mobile friendly enough to appear in your search results. So joining us now to explain the hows and whys of Google's update is Dan Costa, editor-in-chief of PCMag.com. Dan, great to speak with you. Good, Dan. Thanks for having me. So it sounds like a lot of companies will be unhappy about the changes because their technology isn't necessarily mobile friendly. So I would imagine especially small businesses. What happens to those companies and what happens to the users who are looking for specific results but don't necessarily find them because Google decided those results weren't mobile friendly? Yeah, so this is the thing that's going to happen. It's happening today. It's going to roll out over the next couple of days. And Google did give us two months worth of notice saying that they were going to do this. And uh, their goal is a noble one. They want the user to see mobile-friendly websites when they search on mobile devices. That makes a lot of sense. Um, but the bottom line is that a lot of these companies, especially small businesses, just haven't made this step. Um, some of the testing shows that as many as 40% of all of the websites on the web right now don't meet Google's guidelines. And the question is, how far down are those results going to get pushed? If you get pushed to the second page of search results, uh, that can have a real impact on a business's uh, bottom line. It certainly can. I mean, I myself included, it's very rare that I even go to the second or third page when I am searching for something. So I can only imagine. Uh, and I know Google, according to its own numbers, has basically said that something like 50% of all searches are happening on mobile devices. So I, I certainly can see the reason why it would want to do something like this. But on the flip side, it also seems like it's really forcing companies to adapt to, to, more, uh, to a more mobile stance, right? I mean, they're really kind of using their power here. It's hard to think of another company other than Google that could push the market like this. It really reminds me of the days when Microsoft would lead the software industry on the PC side. Um, Google can do that now with web standards. So by, just by making this could be a very small change in their algorithm, uh, they can affect a lot of change. And I know, you know they're, they're causing businesses to actually upgrade their sites, to create mobile versions, to enhance the mobile experience. So the user may win out here. The question is, which, one of the, which companies are going to get found out on the other side of this, and, uh, and how big a hit are they going to take? And so just to dig into this a little bit more, if you're a user and you're actually using Google to search for something, will the desktop searches show different search results than the mobile searches? That is the multi-million dollar question. <laughs> um, Google doesn't tell us a lot about how this algorithm works. It's a bit of a black box. Uh, they give guidance. It's a, it's a little bit like the Federal Reserve giving guidance when they're going to make adjustments <laughs> and changes and the entire industry goes shaking. Um, but so we don't know exactly what the consequences will be. Uh, if it does affect desktop searches, that will obviously be an even bigger impact. My suspicion is Google's going to go about this kind of incrementally. Um, this first round of changes will sort of send a shot over the bow, and then they won't make anything really huge. But it, it's definitely of concern. I mean, we, there's really no limit to what they could do. Yeah. And I, for you, as a, the head of a website yourself, I mean, how concerned are you about making Google's cut? Yeah, Are you concerned? I, I was very worried this weekend. I mean, I got to tell you, it's definitely on my mind. We've been prepping for two months. We really like our mobile solution. Um, it's really slick. I think it's a great user experience. But ultimately, it's uh, you know whether the users like it, that's one thing. But whether Google likes it is mm. even more important. And uh, we're going to find out this week uh, how we do. Well, you'll have to let us know how it goes. Dan Costa, great to speak with you. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.